under one of my WordPress videos. Question from Mark, how can he save WordPress data from users by creating some forms? He wants to create form on WordPress website and he wants to collect that data in database and then he wants to export that data to some CSV file easily. So in this video, this is exactly what I'm going to show you. be using my shark tutorials as you remember I have like shark tutorials Dot com website this is like my test website which is hosted with hostgator and I will show you exactly how you can do this we will build one page here and this is Hestia theme guys if you want to know we have some already spam going on here and here I was showing you in my WordPress videos how to create this social networking icon let's start by going to VP dash admin Okay, let's go in and let's log in to administration area. It's already cached on my browser. So here we go guys. Now I am logged in into my dashboard and next thing what we will need to do, we will need to install two plugins and let's go into plugins or you could go on plugins and add new and we go add new. And first thing what we will be installing is free plugin which is called contact form 7. And this plugin I by as well was showing you contact you just type in contact form contact form 7 will be first plugin and i already showed you how to work and how to create new fields with this plugin how to create new web forms to collect data from users but this plugin doesn't allow you to save this data it just allows you kind of send this data somewhere whenever user submit form in this video no worries guys i will show you how you can save all web form data which have been submitted by this plugin so let's click here install now and we will be installing this plugin and once it's installed it, let's click here activate let's wait until it's activated we have this contact form plugin and once this contact form plugin has been installed here on the left hand side we can find somewhere contact and contact forms and this is our contact form and this is first form which is just created however we can create by add new another form but I will be using this form as I already showed you how to create fields and everything and if we click into this form contact form 1 you can see that we have here three fields one field, field is your name one field is your email which is collecting users email here on top you can add all these other fields if how, how, how many fields you need to get from user and save them in database we have here subject this is text area and we have here message ah oh, this is perhaps actually text area and we have submit which is send we can change name of this all these fields however we like as you remember guys and now let's go into pages and let's create a new page we will Will create and call this page form form okay and uh, this is some content or whatever you can add there okay and just click publish guys once this page will be created we will go to our website now and we will have a look how it looks so let's open it in new tab and this is our website and as you see we don't have any navigations on top because i haven't created any navigations yet and i haven't added any navigation here on top yet and to do this we can go into back into dashboard of our website we go into appearance we go into menus we will just create a new menu and we will add that page and here we create a menu and i will call it main underscore menu you can call it however you want and let's create menu now and now it's created and we can add primary display locations primary menu this means it will be displayed on top auto add pages yes automatically add main pages to this menu and click save menu okay and then we create this form we need to add this form to this menu we click uh, check this form page and click to add menu and we added it and now we save this menu okay guys and now we go back to our website we refresh it and as you see our form has appeared here this tab and if we click into it we are here this is some content so we will add form now on this page as well guys so let's go back to our administration let's go into contact 
and as you see this form to add this form we need to grab this code or if you are click into edit you will see this on this green top view this is what you need to copy let's copy this and let's go back into pages and let's go edit our form page and let's paste this code snippet in there about this is content like control v let's update this and let's preview this page now on our website guys so let's preview it we click into form here is our form which is collecting users your name your email subject and message and whatever you can type in all these and if you want like i mentioned add any other fields to this form and you can change this send to anything what you want submit or whatever guys so now let's go back to our administration and let's install another plugin which actually allows to collect this data because currently your data is not being collected it's being just sent to some emails which you can set up there in that context contactless form whatever but I showed you how to do that as well in my contact form 7 tutorial so I will not get into that so let's go into plugins and add new and here we will type in on the right top corner search we will type in flamingo okay and let's wait a little bit this whole plugin flamingo it has 200,000 like active active installs and so on and it is highly rated this is good plugin to collect data from submissions so let's install this plugin and i will show you how it works and activate okay and once it will be activated guys we have activated that plugin as well which is flamingo now you will see here on the left hand side flamingo as well if you click into it you will see here only address book which is address book of of your users which you, whichever is on your site and inbound messages and the inbound messages are those messages which are collected by forms on your website now and now if we will go back to this form let's click into form and let's make a first submission like first name martin martin yeah we could say martin's hacks and email whatever is your email mail at mail whatever subject uh, just subject okay and your message my uh, message text goes here okay and the similar way you will be able to collect any data like i said just create more fields if you need and click send and now we wait a little bit and as you see thank you for your message it has been sent and now if we go back into this flamingo plugin or flamingo which we have installed we go into inbound messages we have this as, a, as you see i typed in subject and i did it wrong we have this uh, email from and we have channel this means from which contact form this record has been collected and if you click edit here you can see all that data which has been like your name this is like your name collected your email this is where your email was collected this is your subject and subject collected from subject field and your message collected from text area text message field and if you would add more fields or more fields you would want to collect from users they would appear here on this top top bar which is fields guys and here is more information about this submission and now if you would want to export the form data which are submitted you go into inbound messages again and you just click export and it will export it on csv file and as you see it has exported i just double click actually i don't have a cs excel installed on this computer that's why i can't show you but i'll try to open in notepad and as you see these here are all my submission data about this submission guys so yes this is shit about how to get this data and how to store this data and if you found this useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet ask more questions in comments and see you in my other videos